Hello everyone. Welcome to Literary Animator, a place where you study, we animate. Before we start, I want to inform you all that this video is explained briefly in English. If you guys need Hindi explanation, please let me know in the comments. I will create a video as soon as possible. Feel free to comment if you like my lectures to boost my confidence. Let's begin with a brief introduction to the poet. Kamala Das, also known by her Muslim name Kamala Surya, was an Indian author who wrote honestly and openly about female sexual desire and the experience of being an Indian woman. She was born on 31st March 1934, in Thrissur, Malabar Coast, British India, and died on 31st May 2009, in Pune, India. Thus belonged to a group of Indian authors, whose works focused more on personal than colonial experiences. She gained acclaim and notoriety in equal measure for her short tales, poems, memoirs, and essays. Using the pen name Madhvikutti, Das also wrote in the southern Indian language of Malayalam, much of which was poetry. Let's begin the line-by-line -line explanation of the poem. There is a house now far away where once I received love. That woman died. The house withdrew into silence. Snakes moved. Among books I was then too young to read, and my blood turned cold like the moon. The poem My Grandmother's Home expresses Kamala Das's deep love and loyalty attached to it. She feels acutely alienated after leaving this place following her marriage. After her marriage, the poet now lives in a big city, far away from her grandmother's house. She is reminded of her grandmother's house, where she spent her formative years. It was, ironically, the one place she received love from her grandma. The grandmother's passing is even being grieved by the house to which she was deeply attached. Upon her departure from this world, the home was silent. The grandma appears to be the whole spirit of this residence. The snakes could be seen amid the volumes in the house's library despite the fact that it was vacant. She was too young at the time to read those novels, which resembled snakes in their ugliness and repulsiveness. She was practically paralyzed with terror after her grandma died, and she appeared as frigid as the moon. How often I think of going there to peer through blind eyes of windows or just listen to the frozen air, or in wild despair, pick an armful of darkness to bring it here to light. Behind my bedroom door like a brooding dog, you cannot believe, darling. In the poem My Grandmother's Home, the author explains her relationship with her grandmother in a very affecting way. Kamala Das recalls the best days of her childhood spent with her grandma. The poet was extremely close to her grandma, who was very kind and attentive to her. She was emotionally crushed following the loss of her grandmother, who had been her primary source of motivation throughout her life. The poet longs to visit her grandmother's house, to which she has had an emotional attachment since childhood. It has provided her with a sense of security and protection, something she now lacks in her new city home. She wants to peer through the dusty or colored panes of windows that were closed after the grandmother's death. She wants to listen and experience the peaceful environment in the house. Her desire to return to her grandmother's house adds to her sense of anger and helplessness. The darkness of her grandmother's house has no frightening effect on her. She wants to introduce some gloom some memories of her grandmother's house to her current city house. Her grandmother's residence will have a calming effect on her loveless and miserable married existence. Can you 
that I lived in such a house, and was proud and loved. I who have lost my way and beg now at strangers' doors to receive love, at least in small change. In these words from my grandmother's home, the poet describes how her dissatisfaction with her marriage life drove her to pursue an extramarital romance. The poet longs to visit her grandmother's house, to which she has had an emotional attachment since childhood. Unlike her terrible city existence with her husband, it had provided her with stability and true affection. The poet tells her husband that he would never realize the amount of affection she received from her grandma. He would never understand how proud she was of her grandmother's house, where she was dearly adored by her grandma. Her divorce and subsequent separation from her grandmother's home had permanently wrecked her life. Her feeling of pride and love which she used to enjoy at her grandmother's house, has been wounded by her loveless and dismal married life. She has devolved into a love beggar, knocking desperately on people's doors in the hope of receiving anything, however tiny. She has nearly lost her path in her pursuit of sincere and unselfish love. Thank you everyone. I hope you all liked my explanation. See you in next video.